Morning Pembroke family, John and Fiona back with you. Sorry to miss you yesterday, it was a bit of a mad day. But um, we are back this morning and excited to pray with, uh, with you here on the island and around the world. Before we get started, um, I've got an interesting thought. Um, not my own thought, but this is from Oscar Romero. He says, I ask all of you, dear brothers and sisters, to view these things that are happening in our historical moment with a spirit of hope, generosity, and sacrifice. And let us do what we can. We can all do something and be more understanding. If we illuminate with Christian hope our intense longings for justice and peace and all that is good, then we can be sure that no one dies forever. If we have imbued our work with a sense of great faith, love of God, and hope for humanity, then all our endeavors will lead to the splendid crown that is a sure reward for the work of sowing truth, justice, love, and goodness on earth. Our work does not remain here. It is gathered and purified by the Spirit of God and happily returned to us as a reward. <clears throat> Morning prayer on Saturday the 4th of July. Happy uh, 4th of July to our American friends. You can join me in prayer using the daily prayer app that you can find at, uh, on the iTunes store and the Google Play store. Or you can go to churchofengland.org, type in daily prayer into the search bar, and then choose contemporary prayer, contemporary morning prayer, for today's date. Let's pray. O oh Lord, Open our lips, and, and our, our mouth, mouth shall, shall proclaim, proclaim your, your praise. As we rejoice in the gift of this day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. <clears throat> First of two psalms today, this is Psalm 76. In Judah, God is known. His name is great in Israel. That Salem is his tabernacle, and his dwelling place in Zion. There he broke he the flashing arrows of the bow, the shield, the sword, and the weapons of war. In the light of splendor you appeared, glorious from the eternal mountains. The boastful were plundered, they have slept their sleep. None of the warriors can lift their hand. At your rebuke, O God of Jacob, both horse and chariot fell stunned. Terrible are you in majesty. Who can stand before your face when you are angry? You caused your judgment to be heard from heaven. The earth trembled and was still. When God arose to judgment to save all the meek upon earth, you crushed the wrath of the peoples and bridled the wrathful remnant. Make a vow to the Lord your God and keep it. Let all who are round about him bring gifts to him that is worthy to be feared. He breaks down the spirit of princes and strikes terror in the kings of the earth. Majestic and gracious God, more awesome than the agents of war, more powerful than the wrath of nations. Restrain the violence of the peoples and draw the despised of the earth into the joyful life of your kingdom where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Now Psalm 79. O God, the heathen have come into your heritage. Your holy temple have they defiled and made Jerusalem a heap of stones. The dead bodies of your servants they have given to be food for the birds of the air and the flesh of your faithful to the beasts of the field. Their blood have they shed like water on every side of Jerusalem, and there was no one to bury them. We have become the taunt of our neighbors, <clears throat> the scorn and derision of those that are round about us. Lord, how long will you be angry? Forever? How long will your jealous fury blaze like fire? Pour out your wrath upon the nations that have not known you, and upon the kingdoms that have not called upon your name. For they have devoured Jacob and laid waste his dwelling place. Remember not against us our former sins. Let your compassion make haste to meet us, for we are brought very low. Help us, O God of our salvation, for the glory of your name, 
deliver us and wipe away our sins for your name's sake. Why should the heathen say, Where is now their God? Let vengeance for your servant's blood that is shed be known among the nations in our sight. Let the sorrowful sighing of the prisoners come before you, and by your mighty arm preserve those who are condemned to die. May the taunts with which our neighbors taunted you, Lord, return sevenfold into their bosom. But we that are your people and the sheep of your pasture will give you thanks forever and tell of your praise from generation to generation. When faith is scorned and love grows cold, then, God of hosts, rebuild your church on lives of thankfulness and patient prayer through Christ, your eternal Son. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first reading is from Judges, chapter 12, verses 1 to 7. The men of Ephraim were called to arms, and they crossed to Zaphon, and said to Jephthah, Why did you cross over to fight against the Ammonites? and did not call us to go with you. We will burn your house down over you. Jephthah said to them, My people and I were engaged in conflict with the Ammonites who oppressed us severely. But when I called you, you did not deliver me from their hand. When I saw that you would not deliver me, I took my life in my hand and crossed over against the Ammonites, and the Lord gave them into my hand. Why then have you come up to me this day to fight against me? Then Jephthah gathered all the men of Gilead and fought with Ephraim. And the men of Gilead defeated Ephraim because they said, You are fugitives from Ephraim, you Gileadites, in the heart of Ephraim and Manasseh. Then the Gileadites took the fords of the Jordan against the Ephraimites. Whenever one of the fugitives of Ephraim said, Let me go over, the men of Gilead would say to him, Are you an Ephraimite? And when he said no, they said to him, Then say, Shibboleth. And he said, Sibboleth, for he could not pronounce it right. Then they seized him and killed him at the fords of the Jordan. Forty-two thousand of the Ephraimites fell at that time. Jephthah judged Israel for six years. Then Jephthah the Gileadite died and was buried in his town in Gilead. This is the word of the Lord. Goodness. The time of the judges, huh? Mm. Lots of death and destruction. Yeah. So very devastating. So unsurprising. The second reading is from Luke's Gospel. Chapter 17, verses 11 to 19. On the way to Jerusalem, Jesus was going through the region between Samaria and Galilee. As he entered a village, ten lepers, lepers approached him. Keeping their distance, they called out, saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said to them, Go and show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were made clean. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. He prostrated himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him. And he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus asked, Were not ten made clean? But the other nine, where are they? Was none of them found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? Then he said to him, Get up and go on your way. Faith has made you well. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, devastating when only the foreigner, only the Samaritan is the one mm -hmm. to give thanks to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Instructive though. Indeed. Everybody, we're gonna to pray together now. Let's take a moment of silence to recall um, the thanksgivings we need to offer, the, the, um, the biddings we need to, to ask. And the praise we need to return to our great Lord and Father of all. The 
So let's pray to our great and glorious Lord and Father of all, saying together, Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let's pray to the Lord for the unity of the church and witness and proclamation of the gospel. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let's pray to our Lord for the peace and stability of all peoples and for the leaders of the nations. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let's pray to the Lord for places of work, of education, and of leisure. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let's pray to the Lord for a blessing on our homes, for our family and our friends, our friends who are like family, and even for those who consider themselves our enemies, as the Lord has asked us. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let's pray to our Lord on behalf of the sick and suffering, and also on behalf of all those who minister to their needs, both professional and amateur, paid and volunteer. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. So now let's commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Almighty God, you have broken the tyranny of sin and have sent the spirit of your Son into our hearts, whereby we can call you Father. Give us grace to dedicate our freedom to your service, that we in all creation may be brought to the glorious liberty of the children of God. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Now let's pray with confidence as our Savior has taught us. Our Father, Father who, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive, forgive those, those who trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Hallelujah to you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thanks for joining us, everyone. May you continue to be blessed and to be a blessing to others. We'll see you online for um, a fuller worship tomorrow.